Hey folks, today we are gonna make a roast and we're gonna put it in the crock pot. It's gonna be one of the easiest meals that you can do when you're on a busy day or you gotta go work. Crock pot is your best friend. I have about a two pound roast here, a tablespoon or two of oil in my pan. I'm going to salt and pepper it. <clears throat> pepper. I'm going to uh, brown my meat. Uh, when you're cooking a roast, it's always good to brown it on both sides. It just gives it a, a better flavor and it adds to the sauce. So we're going to get that in there. I've got my crock pot on high. Let it be warming up. Put garlic and pepper on the other side of my roast. I've cut up a small onion. You know, just, you don't have to cut it up fine. Just, I'm gonna take two cans of mushroom soup. This is gonna make a gravy. It's gonna be wonderful. I'm gonna put a can of water. I just fill up the can with some water. Isn't that beautiful? Smells so good. I'm gonna take one package of Lipton soup mix and add that to it. And stir it. When I put my onions in there. Just separate them as you go. Or you could just lay them on top, whatever. It's easiest for you. We'll take my, <clears throat> after I've browned it on both sides, and we'll put it in the crock pot. And then I'm gonna pour this mixture over the top. This is gonna cook for three to four hours on high and will have us roast with gravy. I usually have um, cream potatoes with that. Today we're um, <coughs> making cream potatoes, mashed potatoes, however we want to pronounce it. I've taken about five or six of these little red potatoes. And I'm peeling them. Just take a knife and
Some people just scrub them real good and leave the skin on them. When they get soft, you put them back in this colander and you drain them. And I put um, salt, pepper, <clears throat> butter, and milk in mine. You can either whip them up with a electric mixer or you can mash them with a potato masher, whichever one you like. Let's rinse them. We'll put water in a bowl. And put our potatoes in there. You just fill it up enough to cover the, cover the potatoes like that. We'll put a little salt in the water. And when it comes to a boil, it'll take about 20 minutes. And then we'll be back. Hey there. Uh, we got the potatoes done. <clears throat> you want it, you know, see how that pork goes right through it? It's nice and tender. I've got about a half a cup of milk with three tablespoons of butter melted. Just zap it in the microwave a little bit. And we're gonna mash them. Put a little salt in there. A little pepper. And a little tidbit, <clears throat> your salt shaker uh, if you put a little bit of uh, rice in there, it uh, keeps the moisture from clogging up your pores of your salt. So that'll help. Let me sit there and mash them. Let's taste them. See the seasonings are okay. Oh, hot. Needs a little bit more salt. <clears throat> Couple of tablespoons of butter on top and just let it melt. And that's how it looks. Good mashed potatoes. And we're fixing to plate it up and we'll show you what it all looks like. Thank you for watching. Like this video if you've learned something. Subscribe to see more videos. Leave a comment on what you would like to learn.